Okay, so I promised to use a review of the Hyundai uh, Rock X tablet for already about two months and at last now I can make it. I received this tablet about three weeks ago, so I tested it quite well and now let's go. So first let's take a look at the box of this tablet. As you can see it's a uh, normal average simple box. It's a quite simple design, so just from Dira Kicks. On the back of this box we can see the technical specs of this tablet. It has a couple of uh, Cortex-A9 cores, 1.6 GHz, uh, it's a uh, ROG chip 3066, we tested several such tablets already, so the technical specs are rather similar. Also it has a quad-core Mali 400 GPU, a 1 GB of DDR3 random access memory, it's an IPS screen 1024 by 768 points, it has a 10 points multi-touch, uh, also it has a 16 gigabytes of uh, flash memory, it has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules integrated, 4400 mAh battery, Android 4.1 on board, uh, a couple of 2 megapixels cameras and so on. So far for today it's the best Chinese tablets in this size, it's the best 8 inches tablet still. So uh, now let's take a look inside the box. What we can see here is the manual, it's in Chinese and in English in two languages. As you can see it's a warranty card also in Chinese and English. Also there are headphones, data cable and there is also standard charger comes with this tablet. It's uh, 5 volts, 2000 mAh standard charger. Let's take a look at the tablet itself. So at the front panel there is an 8 inches IPS screen and a 2 megapixels uh, web camera. What we see here it's a headphone jack, micro USB, microphone, DC jack, mini uh, HDMI, it's a speaker and it's the power button. Also there is a home button and the volume rooker and here there is a micro SD slot. On the back panel there is only uh, 2 megapixels another main camera. Uh, the build quality of this tablet is very good, absolutely no problems here. So it's time to turn it on. So uh, first let's take a look at the screen. The screen in this tablet is very good. I like it very much. It is one of the first uh, tablets with the 8 inches IPS screen. So as you can see the viewing angles are perfect here. Also the brightness, the contrast and all the other uh, characteristics of this screen are quite quite well. So. I like it very much. Let's check the brightness. The minimum brightness is good enough to use the tablet in the darkness and the maximum brightness is good enough for most of the applications of this tablet. Mm, so 
it's quite good. Now let's check the touch screen of this tablet. Uh, actually the touch screen is quite good, no substantial problems with this, but I would say that some of the other uh, touch screens of the latest Chinese tablets are a bit better. I don't know why. The hardware tests show this uh, touch screen is quite good, but personally I like uh, some other screens more than this touch screen. Um, what is also interesting about this tablet is that it has 10 points multi-touch. As you can see, compared to the 5 points multi-touch in most of the 7 and 8 inches tablets. It makes no, not much sense actually, but still it's 10 points multi-touch. This is not the first tablet based on the Rock Chip 366 which I tested. So as you can see it's very fast. It's one of the fastest tablets for today. And now let's check the settings in this tablet. As you can see this tablet has not only Wi-Fi but also the Bluetooth integrated module and it does work really. Also it has an Android 4.1.1. The firmware is the last official firmware but it's rooted. Also the tablet has 16 gigabytes of memory integrated as you can see. The battery in this tablet is 4400 uh, milliamperes, 3.7 volt battery and it's very good I should say. It is uh, much better than for instance in the T-Clast uh, P85 dual core which has the same form factor and only a little worse battery. The battery life in this tablet is about 5 to 6 hours with the average brightness and Wi-Fi on. So it's a really good result I should say. Now let's check the languages. This tablet has a full range of languages of the Android, so it's about 50 languages, quite good in this respect. Now it's time to check the root. This tablet is not rooted from the factory, but I rooted it uh, using the specific software you can find it in the description to this video. As you can see the tablet is rooted. Ok now let's check the internet. Traditionally I use the BBC News site. As you can see it is quite fast and fluent as always. As with other Rock Chip 3066 tablets, there are absolutely no problem. Now let's check the YouTube.
as always a lot of stupid videos let's try to find something interesting here Okay, let's check the Google Maps. As always, it works quite well. As you can see, now let's check the market. This tablet has no problems with the market, it works quite well and Actually, all the applications are here, as you can see, absolutely no problems. Everything is very well. Now let's check the Wi-Fi signal. This tablet has patented Wi-Fi antenna. And as you can see, it shows quite a good result. It's minus 30 dBm for my network. Uh, but the signal level fades uh, rather fast also. Uh, still, I have no problems with uh, the Wi-Fi signal in this tablet. It's a really good result, minus 30 dBm. Now let's check the performance. As always, let's start with the Antutu. It's the new version of this test, 3.0.3. So it's not compatible with the previous Antutu benchmark. As you can see, the result of this tablet is a little bit more than 12,000 points. In the third version of N2, the results are about 1.5 times higher than in the previous version. So the N2 of the second generation would give us about 8, maybe 8.5 thousand points. And as you can see, all the subtests show a good result. So 12 thousand for the new N2 is a really good result. And you can see it by the performance. Now let's check the quadrant. I won't run it now, right now. It's 4142 points. Also quite a good result. Uh, a bit uh, higher than for the Asus Transformer Prime. 
and a bit lower than for the HTC One X. Now let's take a look at the results of the Llama. As you can see, it's 1561 point for the HTML5 and 520 points for the metal. Also, this is quite a good result. It's a third result for the HTML5 as you can see here. And it's a fifth result for the metal subtest as you can see. So, really good result. Now let's run the uh, nanomark. You can see the result here, 54.5 frames per second. It's a bit lower result than for the uh, T-Class uh, P85 Dual Core, which has the same uh, specs and the same internals, but it may be uh, because of the small uh, firmware differences. Uh, generally, of course, it's a perfect result. Now let's run the TG benchmark. It is also going to show the good results. Thirty eight point eighty five, it's almost thirty nine frames per second, and it's a perfect result. It's even maybe a bit uh, better result than for the T class P eighty five dual core. So, very good result. And let's check the games as always. The new Angry Birds Star Wars. Of course, no problems with this game. As you can see, it's fast and fluent. go to the harder games so it's a death rolling As you can see, it's quite fluent.
And let's run the Eternity Warriors too. As you can see, this game is quite fluent. It's one of the most advanced games for Android for today. It's rather nice by the graphics, and it runs quite fluently and well. Ok, so now we can make some conclusions about this tablet. As I already said, it's the best 8 inches tablet for today. There are also several other IPS 8 inches tablets, but the Hyundai Rock X is still the best by the specs. I have maybe only one claim about this tablet, is that it has only uh, 2 megapixels back camera, but in all other aspects it is very well. It has a good screen, good battery, uh, good internals, it's very fast, good quality, so I like it very much. And that's it for today. Thank you for attention.